again. Today's crafts feature two autumn themes that also remind us of the wonderful grace we find in Christ Jesus. Our voice passage is Romans 5, and we're relating how we have the free gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, thanks to the work he did on the cross for us. And since it is October currently, maybe it is in your neck of the woods, maybe not, but since it is fall, we're going to look at some fun fall themes to go with this. So our first craft is going to be a leaf feature. And there's a bit of a pun involved here. We're going to remember how Jesus has taken our sins upon himself and how we can believe that he is always with us. So I'm going to start out today with a piece of paper. And this is going to be my background. You can use cardstock, cardboard, any kind of paper you like. But I'm going to use this and I'm going to start by putting a cross in the center of it to remember, of course, Jesus and his saving work on the cross. And this is fairly simple. You can make it as complex as you like. I'm going to add some leaves all over the place here. So I'm going to make my cross with popsicle sticks. If you like, you can also make your cross with the leaves themselves. Now I happen to have some genuine from an outside tree leaves, as well as some fake craft leaves. You can also find some great foam leaves. You could just cut some leaves out of pieces of paper. In fact, maybe I'll do a couple of those as well, just to give you the idea that there are a lot of options as far as leaves go. So we'll have our paper leaf and we'll have our crafty leaf and all sorts of leaves here. Here we go. So I'm going to now glue the leaves all over the place here. Now you can also add additional decorations if you like. Well, let's get these leaves on first actually. So you can also do, it's kind of fun uh, to do like a leaf rubbing like you can take a leaf and and color over it, kind of shade over it um, to make even more leafy. I'm gonna pop some of these guys off here. And again, totally up to you, however you wanna arrange things here. We've got a leaf here, we got a leaf over here, and you can tape them down or they might stick better. I'm sorry, you can glue them down or use tape, either one. And then, then we're gonna have a couple of captions that I'm gonna put on here to go with my leaf theme. And again, you could also do some extra decorative touches as always. So I could throw on a couple of happy face stickers and if you've got some more crosses or you want to use a different kind of cross, you could do that as well. And do, do, do. there we go. And you can add some drawing, some glitter, if you're really feeling adventurous. Um, and maybe I'll write something up here like, Happy Autumn. As if we didn't know that this was an autumn themed craft already. Craft already. Now, here's my silly little captions that are going to help me. And doop -doop -doop -doop, here we go. So this one says, wait for it, Jesus took the fall for you. Like he took our falls and took them upon himself, not our autumns, but the things we do wrong, you can't really see it. But it also says he never 
leaves you because this is leaves. Anyways, couldn't help myself. Then we'll have another verse down here. This is from Romans chapter 5. It says, but God shows his love for us and that while we we're still sinners, Christ died for us. So there's your autumn leaf collage featuring the work of Jesus. Next craft, also fall themed, this one is going to veer us into the land of candy, which is always a wonderful place to be. And I'm again going to actually start with a cross in the center of things. And as before, if you prefer to make your cross, this one's going to, like I mentioned, feature candy. So if you want to make your cross out of candy, that is also a fun and creative option. And I'm going to incorporate a little candy on my cross. But first I'm going to put my popsicle sticks down there. And now I'm going to actually add my captions before I throw on everything else because it could get a little messy. This one says, God's grace is sweeter than candy. So I'm going to put that down here. And I also have a verse, which I'm actually going to attach on the side. Kind of do a little extra caption that I can glue or tape on. And this one is also from Romans chapter 5. It says, the free gift is not like the trespass. For if many died through one man's trespass, much more have the grace of God. And the free gift, by the grace of that one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for many. So I'm going to attach that. And then I'm going to decorate this with candy. And this is something that's fun because kids can decorate it. They can choose what candy pieces they want. Then they can take it home with them and have a little snack treat for later. Ah, so I'm going to cover this with candy. And again, if you'd like to also add some other fun little stickers or whatnot, you certainly may. Just to liven things up a little bit here. Because why not? And then I'm going to throw on all sorts of candy. So this is probably better taped. You can glue it, but I'm going to take, tape some of this down. I've got one of my personal favorites here, where there's original caramels. And then I have a nice dark chocolate over here. I've got... Twix. Who doesn't love a Twix? Well, I guess not everybody loves a Twix, but I sure do. And cookies and cream. And then I've got some milk duds. I like caramel. What can I say? Then around the outside, I'm going to make a nice little perimeter all around. And here, I'm going to glue on some candy corn. Now, if your kids are taking this as a little souvenir, decoration slash treat snack activity, please encourage them not to eat the pieces that have been actually stuck on glue. And you would hope and think and assume that maybe that's not something you need to remind children. But it is. So this is just going to make it fun and festive and decorative. Line these guys up all over the place. And if you want to put some on your cross, you can do that as well. But again, this is to go along with our theme of sure. 
free candy is great, but free grace is even greater and a lot sweeter. So whether you're doing a trunk or treat or a harvest jam or whatever it is that you are doing at this time of year, let's face it, the candy is in stores. We're gonna find it, we're gonna get it, and let's use it to remember an important scriptural truth. So there you have it, two fun fall crafty candy options to enjoy and celebrate the gift of salvation and eternal life that we find because of God's mercy and grace. So feel free to use, take, adapt, change, tweak, do whatever you'd like. Hopefully this will help you, inspire you, and be a blessing to you and your ministry, wherever and with whomever that might be. Now, have a wonderful week. Go make some crafts, make some disciples, and join us again. See you next time.